right there, William B. Umstead Park. We're just getting started. Found an old cabin. What's happening, YouTube? But yeah, we're at a new state park. We've never been here before. It's in Wake County. It's about 5,600 acres. A lot of history out here, homesteads. We're gonna to try to locate some grave sites yep. and some historic- um, Features. Yeah. yeah, features. We got a subscriber that gave us some leads out here to a, a old chimney uh, structure and an old wheel. Oh yeah. And maybe an old car. Let's just see if we can find it. And we'll get back to you as we hike. And there is a log out here that has art on it. Uh, chainsaw art. We'll show you that. And it's well marked on the maps though. Um, so if you come out here, definitely go to the chainsaw art log. But let's, we'll film it when we get there. All right, peace out. Folks, all right, there's a graveyard here at the park, one of many. This is the King Graveyard site. So let's check it out. But in the meantime, look at this. Choose joy. We can't really beat it, but yeah. Painted rock. Very nice. We'll put it back. So, guys, the King Graveyard's here. It was a, um, the Kings came in here and, uh, had a homestead in the state park. Um, another family graveyard in the park at the other end, opposite of this probably, is the Young, the Young graveyard. You got several that are out here. Yeah. We're finding that common in a lot of North Carolina state parks, but this is pretty cool. A lot of these dates are very old. This is a very well maintained grave site out here. 1800s. Father. Hey, you got another last name in this section is on oh, this one says Emory. This one is an infant, infant son of. We'll see. So they're pretty neat find. So we found a cabin already. We got this the young. I mean, excuse me, the King Graveyard site is right here. And as you can see, it's very close to, to, to a trail. So this one gets a lot of visits. This is a big old red oak tree. Two guys came out here, did some chainsaw art on it. It's about 25 foot worth of work. Oh, it's a shame, his head got cut off.
Hey, check it out though. Hey, back in the Uwaris, close to where we live, you had a lot of chimneys built like this. They're now just piles of rock because they've all collapsed. They're called chimney falls. And over here is how it's collapsing into a rock pile. We found this piece of metal off trail. It's kind of heavy. I don't know what it is. Old road bear or something. Mm. See that? What it is, there's an old road bed we started walking on and we found this. Bunch of rubble and metal. We're trying to find an old grave out here and we found this turtle. There he is. I'm not sure what this is, guys, but check it out. Another piece of metal. Something. And then we finally found the old graveyard. An old grave. There's a piece of a fence still standing right here with some barbed wire. See it? It goes into that tree. So there's homesteads out here, and we actually found multiple graves out here. Yeah. Um, check this gravesite out. This one's really old. Wow, I didn't expect this. This is, this is J.M. McGee, 1875. He was born J.M. McGee. And then you see footstones. And look, look, you got some kings back here again. The king family again. Yep. And then you have, what the heck? There's an old sign. Old something. This is probably an old graveyard marker back in the day, but it's not good anymore. And these are Carpenter. 1801 was the birthday. Barely legible. This one, I cannot ha read at all. This one, has, this one can't read. Too old. But look here, you have another stone. I don't know what these are. These are more markers. But really they, I don't know. And another grave over there. So, we actually found this old graveyard. Can you, we're going to try to get a high view of it over here and see if it'll pick up. And there was a guy named Rob. Back in the day, he had descendants that lived here in the park he's passed away now but years ago this is one of the graveyards he would tell people about it got passed down to us through a subscriber they gave us a link to this gravesite i wasn't sure we could find it but we did and um it's pretty neat it's not that far from the trail but it's very close to an old road bed here and not far from here it's remains of a homestead we're gonna try to find too We've came across this uh, item, Boogie system. but check out the uh, the wood is still here that they actually were using for some of the wagon. The, this is just a wheel casing left. And this one, whatever, has a piece of rubber still on it. But yeah guys hopefully that picked up good on camera we're exploring off trail here and found this we're going to put a pin on our google maps for it and anybody who needs it we'll be happy to share it but we didn't expect to find that but that's pretty cool you never know what you might find hello please like and subscribe i highly recommend the briggs boy station History is disappearing, folks.
this big tree fell on top of some homestead structure that's some structure from a homestead that got demolished by the father's tree that's another reason why his tree is disappearing with time man it got demolished by this tree look what the heck is this cage out here not sure what that is say how that tree has demolished as part of a home structure here that got cremate cream but if you look right over there you will see watch out that metal there's metal back here too and there's more of that structure by the tree but on up is a chimney there you go there's another chimney and a wheel is right here but check this out guys there's a whole wheel there's a whole giant wheel that we found out here Folks, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. And then there's the chimney that we found out here. And as you see, it's definitely collapsing. I hope this shows up for you guys. And then there's some metal out here too, right here. There used to be a building right here. There's a seat to something. There's another wheel, some metal parts. And check this out. A lot of, a lot of some old. Right here. What the heck is this? Wow. Look at that. Oh, this metal out here. There's another wheel. Barrels drunk. And then be real careful walking. You got a lot of barrels out here. This is what you call a hand formed brick. Those are hand formed bricks that are out here. And this is a barrel. Another drum. Some more drums are back there. Never know what you're gonna find off trail out here, man. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Bottoms up. Yeah, for real, man. Check it out. Woo. All right, guys, this is what was given to us a, a site to visit. The CCC was all over North Carolina State Parks. Conservation, um, Civilian Conservation Corps, CCC, 1930s. They did a lot of work in our state parks. Well, this site is a series of check dams to control water flow. And as you can see, that one looks like it's um, kind of caved in a little bit. And then this one here is another one that goes up like that. And then as you can see, all the way down, there's these dams, a series of them. I don't know if they're going to show up on the camera very well this time of year. Let me see if I can climb down and get you a better angle, but... They uh, did a good job. They're still standing today. I'm inside this ditch. That's what they look like. 
some of these cameras do not do a good job we just got a gopro but here's the that's what it looked like they go all the way down about every 50 feet or so there's one right here then one above it all the way down and then all the way up this gully here and we did find a lot of glass bottles so they might have had some fun down here building these things see that one's kind of caved in over the years but that's what they look like there's a bunch down here four five six of them Seven. we got six in our eyesight already but uh hopefully this was a cool find that shows up on camera there's what see oh this is not cool don't stand on top of them i'm getting off of that shit do not climb on top of them they're unstable yep there you go. And then all the way down this gully, about every 50 feet or so, you'll see them. They're all up and down this gully. This series of check dams. All by the CCC. Sycamore Creek runs through the park. It's up because of the recent rains. These trails are nice and wide, a lot of them are. Right over there used to be an old bridge. Right there. And they got washed out back in the day. That's an old bridge frame, wooden back there. Homestead ruins again. This is uh, some ruins of a homestead. And check these out. What you got there? Hand form bricks. Yep. We we'll found a big pile of these bricks. These are the hand formed bricks. They're all over the place out here. This tree fell on top of it. And then also there is a stack of them. There's a column right here of these bricks with moss on top of this one it's like a post of part of that homestead there and then over here is another angle of it of the ruins some metal here rocks go this way and then you see a pile of flat areas out here you, so that's the where somebody had a homestead We have um, GPS pins or map pins, the best we could out here. This is a more stacks of ruins of this part of that homestead that's out here. And then it goes six stands back. It's even more back in here. So yeah, man, this hike definitely has some off trail slight some are very close to the trail this one's not far from the trail um a lot of history so we try to when we hike we try to find stuff this ain't on no trail maps what do you think buddy very cool I like it. nice and again we have no trouble sharing what we find the pins the locations you can hear us up in the comments. But we're gonna take a break here at this old homestead and then we're gonna go and see if we can find an old car in the woods. And that site is literally right there. But you don't know it 
walking by that there's homestead right here of course this was not a um, hiking trail back then and most of these trees wasn't here there was a lot of farmland back then because the whole forest was clear cut remnants of a car what the heck I don't know. And there's the back seat of this car right here, I guess. Get around this tree here. This old barrel down here. And then that's the back of this thing. Part of the wheel. headlight will be right there there's a skeleton of this old car in the middle of the woods old car sir tell us about this graveyard um the warren family graveyard out here in the woods i mean i don't know <laughs> yep i mean just a few people whole family that's what it looks like guys there's two, a service member buried out here too this one's not that old what we found out is the family, your family descendants are buried here in the what's now known as the Umstead State Park. You also can still be buried here today in the graveyard. So, as long as you are a descendant of the family. This is the Warrens. The Warrens had a lot of history here in this park too. We talked about the King and their graves, the King family. Well, this is the Warren family. And here's a service member here, James Seymour Haley. He actually, he probably didn't show up on the camera. He served in Vietnam. So the U.S. Navy in the Vietnam. Let me see if I can fix it better. And you can see it's well kept for the most part. This ain't in the middle of the woods or nothing, but you can see the outlines of these graves. See that? Here's the second. This guy here served. His nickname must have been Toad. Mr. Another war in 1932 is when he died. 1856 is when he was born. And then he also got some very old ones back here. This one. Can't really read that, but yeah it's really cool to honor history looks like that one was a uh, warren who died in sometime in i can't read that maybe 1949 that one's um they were born in 1919 and died 1949 but yes yeah, wooded in the back and there's your other view of it from the rear. Well, folks, now you've seen the Warren family graveyard out here. Um, well, we hope 
we try to be respectful and honor history and grave sites, but it's important to know where they're at too and tell people about it, I think, to try to keep history alive. Even though the younger generation today really doesn't care about history, this uh, at least, see what y'all think. Let us know if y'all know anything else about the Warrens. And uh, we're going to head back to the car. If we see anything else exciting, we will pick up the film. Hey guys. We're gonna wrap it up and close it off. We're in the car. Um, first time here at this park. There's a big trail that runs through here. What's it called? The East Coast Trail. Yeah, the East Coast Greenway or Greenway, something like that. Yeah. Greenway, yeah. That thing's like 3,000 miles long from Florida to all the way up to Maine. It's big. It runs through here too. Um, so hopefully y'all enjoy the video. We mainly just did some highlights and spots that uh, we had uh, from a subscriber. Gave us some leads on some homesteads and mm -hmm. an old car and different things that's slightly off trail. But we like that Very log. Cool. Oh, we like that. The art log, what do they call it? It's well marked for the log. It's right there on one of the trails. It's on the trail. Y'all gotta check that out, it's really pretty. And um, hopefully the video turns out and that you got something new out of this park. And what is it, William? William B. Umstead. William B. Umstead, they call it. Like I, said, I think it's the governor back at that time. It's named after him. But anyway, interesting place. It's really big. Lots of graveyards, lots of historic home sites. Just a lot of history here. Um, so come out and check it out for yourselves and let us know if you want us to share any links with you guys and we'll catch you on the next adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, come. Peace out.